I got the impression you were getting picked up here by Andy. I think I am. Uh, Confirm that. I am.
Corlears, singers, if you would please move to the back. Our seniors that are singing, please proceed to the back. And if everyone could remain standing for our national anthem. Please be seated. Thank you, Mr. Dashu and our Coraliers. On behalf of myself, the Board of Education, our high school and district administration, faculty, staff, and the class of 2022, welcome to the 88th commencement of Bethlehem Central High School. I would like to take a moment to thank all those involved in making tonight's event a success, more specifically those who are not listed in the program. The behind-the-scenes efforts of our clerical and maintenance staff often go unnoticed, but their assistance is critical in the organization and set up for tonight's event. I'd also like to thank Mr. Corey Fong for putting together the graphics that you see on the screens throughout the arena tonight. Thank you. It is my honor now to introduce some many special guests in attendance this evening. On stage, we have our Board of Education members, President Ms. Holly Dellenbaugh, Ms. Willow Bear is now with us tonight, Ms. Christine Beck, Mr. Jonathan Fishbein, Ms. Meredith Moriarty, Ms. Catherine Nadeau, who's not with us, and Ms. Wendy Sampson. If we could recognize them and thank them for being here tonight with us. Also on stage is our superintendent, Ms. Jody Monroe, our deputy superintendent, Dr. Dave Hurst, the, special, the director of special education student services, Ms. Kathleen Johnston, our chief business and financial officer, Ms. Judith Kehoe, our chief technology officer, Ms. Aaron Shevers, our high school assistant principal, Ms. Heather Cullinan, who has uh, the best job tonight reading all the names. Thank you, Ms. Cullinan. The Counseling Center Supervisor, Ms. Kristen Connor, and our high school counseling staff, Mr. Tyler Anderson, Ms. Kate Burkhart, Dr. Lisa Carr, Mr. Scott Carlton, Ms. Elizabeth Colleton, Mr. Darnell Douglas, Mr. Ryan St. John, and Ms. Deborah Z. Thank you to all of them for being here tonight with us. On the floor, the boots on the ground are marshals for tonight's ceremony. If you could please stand when I call your name. Ms. Kelly Babick, Ms. Teresita Garcia, Mr. Lester Bitor, Ms. Karen Caron, Ms. Corey DeFabio, 
Ms. Christy Eldeen, Mr. Nick Ferguson, Mr. Corey Fong, Mr. Evan Harley, Ms. Dina Henderson, Mr. Michael Letzring, Ms. Amy Ludick, Ms. Alex Messier, Mr. Jeffrey Mung, Mr. Mark Nealon, Ms. Leslie Obermeyer, Mr. Anthony Scott, Mr. Matt Rabit, Ms. Julie Taylor, Ms. Eileen Turo, Mr. Michael Valenti, and Ms. Lauren Ward. Thank you to our marshals. Also on the floor are high school assistant principals, Mr. James Smith and Ms. Nicole Conway. And last but not least, I'd like to recognize all of our staff and attendants who have helped us with the organization of the students in the ceremony. Thank you all for being here. All right, introductions out of the way. Class of 2022, congratulations on completing your journey through Bethlehem Central School District. I always appreciate looking out at you all on this night and being filled with a sense of pride. I used to worry so much about making this the perfect night because you and your family deserve the best. After experiencing drive-through and virtual ceremonies, my focus now is more on being present and grateful for these moments where we can celebrate together. I myself have also changed my approach to putting together a speech for commencement. I used to search for hours on the internet for words of advice from some of the most respected motivational speakers. Now I spend more time being present and being open to messages and signs that take place around me on a daily basis and provide motivation. That motivation came a couple weeks ago while attending our high school award ceremony. The night was filled with stories of accomplishment and perseverance. However, that was not the highlight of the, of the event for me. The highlight was the excitement each student had for their peer after they witnessed their name being called for the award or scholarship. In a world where so many are self-consumed, it was amazing to watch our students enjoy the moment and celebrate each other with such enthusiasm. The speed at which we currently live often leaves us missing these opportunities. I'm here today to ask you to reflect on what is important in your life and be present for that. At the end of the big journey, life, people will say things like, cherish every day, don't sweat the small stuff, be grateful for what you have and had before, give lots of hugs and tell your family and friends you love them. People will remember your smile, your sense of humor, calming demeanor, your ethics, honesty, and ability to bring others together. You won't hear people saying, I wish I spent more time at the office opposed to with my family and friends. Or, I wish I had more time with my social media instead of enjoying nature or creating art, playing music or competing in athletics. If we all know this to be true, and it is a testament to those who have lived before us, then why do we fall for the trap of not living in the present, not being grateful, or going out of our way to find fault in ourselves or others? The answer to that is, it's easier. Society has made it very easy, in fact. It's encouraged to be opinionated, self-righteous, and loud. You can live in a world of acceptance online without ever worrying about how to bring people together or challenge your own opinions or views. You can scroll 24-7 through pictures or stories of others who have something you do not have. I have news for everyone. In this world and in your life, someone will always have more than you, more money. Someone will have a bigger house, 
Some will always have a physical attribute you don't. You need to avoid living or comparing your life to others. If you do not practice being present and grateful, you will fall for the trap. Without being present, you can't be self-aware. Without self-awareness, you will miss out on those most cherished aspects of the human spirit, which include our intellect, emotions, passions, and creativity. The cliche is true. I know this class has the ability to change the world. My message to you is not about changing the world, but about enjoying the world. Look for the good in others and avoid rushing to judgment. Once you find balance and happiness in your life, that is when you will truly have the power to change the world. Class of 2022, you will all be missed, but always remember, we are better because of you. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our keynote address by Madeline Ferreira. Hi, everyone. It is truly my honor to be speaking before you all today. I'd, of course, like to start by wishing a huge congratulations to all of us who are graduating. I'd also like to send a special thank you to all of the teachers, family, and friends who have gotten us to where we are today. As we sit here presently, we share the incredible commonality of time. The allotted time that we have been given at Bethlehem has been spent differently by every student sitting here today. Some of us were actively involved in student clubs and organizations, played musical instruments, competed for our sports teams, or sang, danced, and acted in musicals. This period of time in our lives is coming to an end. However, instead of this idea that time is ticking away and that the grains of sand are running out, I'd encourage everyone here to try to think that the passage of time gives us another grain of sand or another gift. Time is an accumulation rather than a diminishing, as American singer-songwriter Tori Amos once said. Time can be a conundrum, a puzzle, a challenge. It can be simultaneously frightening and rewarding. The passage of time can be a high schooler's worst enemy, as some days it feels that there aren't enough hours in a day to accomplish every task at hand. I know I'm certainly not the only one in this room who has felt overwhelmed by racing against the clock to finish an assignment or study for a test. Yet I've also learned to appreciate time as a gift during my years at Bethlehem. We all experience the same 24 hours in a day. Though we all have gone our separate ways every weekday at 2 p.m., many to a job or to a practice, some to a rehearsal or the library, and others to places in between, we have spent the majority of our days together. Days that consist of learning, laughing, studying, we have endured all of this time together. Even as time passes and deadlines quickly approach, oftentimes the challenges to beat deadlines turn into opportunities to make memories. Some of the most memorable moments from my time at Bethlehem were the late night study sessions with my friends throughout my junior year. Cramming to study for an A-push test, we all came home from our practices and jobs to FaceTime for hours, trying to recite from memory Roosevelt's monetary policy uh, or uncover the real meaning of Marbury versus Madison. The funny thing is that I don't remember what grade I got on either of those tests, but I do remember the congeniality, the laughter, and the small talk we shared those nights. From my experience at BCHS, I've learned that those little stolen moments are the building blocks of our high school experience. The moments of coincidence when you are assigned your seating chart on the first day of school or when you turn to a classmate you have never spoken to before to ask a homework question. 
you're standing in a 20-person lunch line on the first day of kindergarten, or you're standing in a 300-person line waiting to get into your first homecoming dance where you're introduced to new people. The five-minute passing periods running from upper E-wing to lower D-wing with classmates. Your collection of stolen moments is what makes your experience at Bethlehem so extraordinary. Everyone here has had an impact on someone else. Everyone here has made someone else smile or laugh, has helped someone learn a new concept, or open someone's mind to a new perspective. All of our memories from Bethlehem are different, yet the time we have spent together has helped shape us as individuals ready to start their next journey. As we move on to the following chapters in our lives, the accumulation of those stolen moments and memories should be carried with us everywhere we go. Admittedly, there were some days when eight consecutive 43-minute periods could drag on or be hard to get through. But we should never think that those days were a waste of time. In fact, I'd argue that there is no such thing as a wasted day. The passage of time will always provide us with an opportunity to create memories and learn. We rely on those memories of the good days and the bad days to get us through the future, spark and fuel our future wants and dreams, and help us deal with and overcome the challenges ahead. Though it can be daunting, as we reflect on our time at Bethlehem, I think it's important to note that everyone here is more than ready for the next step in their lives. Every year has been filled with abundance of moments during school. And I would encourage each of you to think of all of those times as grains of sand being added into your own hourglass. An hourglass full of knowledge, learning, life lessons, experience, and whatever you make of it. Of course, in each of our individual experience at Bethlehem, our hourglasses look entirely different. Some people have different colored sand, yet for every one of us, all of the time spent in our school should be celebrated. And so I encourage everyone here to remember the days of turning in homework assignments and brief periods spent with friends in the BC Commons or the library and the long days and nights of studying. Be proud of yourself for what you have learned, for what you have accomplished to stand here today, and for overcoming any setbacks or struggles you have faced. Be proud of yourself for all of the time you have spent to achieve your goals and to prepare you in the pursuit of further goals. Most importantly, be grateful for the gift of time, the accumulation of memories and stolen moments,
One more round of applause for Mr. Jason Dashu and our Coraliers. At this time, I'd now like to introduce our superintendent, Ms. Jody Monroe. Thank you, Mr. Romel. Welcome. Board of Education members, parents, family members, friends, faculty and staff, and of course, our honorees, the class of 2022. I'm honored to be here celebrating with all of you this evening. Graduation symbolizes many things, an ending, a beginning, a celebration, memories, successes and failures, and much more. In general, I believe graduation can be a time to reflect and set goals for ourselves. The class of 2022 has had a high school experience like no other. And you could end your high school experience with a feeling of loss for all that was missed due to COVID, or you can exit with gratitude for the experiences that you were able to have. Perspective is the way you see something and not necessarily the way things are. Throughout your education, your teachers have talked a lot about perspective in their lessons. Perspectives gives us the ability to understand situations from other positions, to consider other beliefs, experiences, and viewpoints. Being able to understand differing perspectives allows us to better understand and have greater empathy for others, which is very much needed in our world today. Last week, I had the opportunity to attend a Sankofa celebration at the high school, organized by Alana, a club at the high school. Sankofa is a West African concept centered on remembering the past and taking what is good and bringing it into the present in order to make progress in the future. During a celebration, students talked about some of their experiences they've had during their education. For many students, kindergarten through senior year have been spent at BC, while others spoke of coming to Bethlehem from other schools. With the challenges of being the new kid at school, student talk, students talked of not quite knowing what to expect, how to fit in, how to make those important connections. What struck me was that each student in the tra tradition of Sankofa was able to look at their experiences and appreciate the friends they have made, the staff members who have made a difference in their lives, and the connections they have found through Alana and other groups and clubs. The power of Sankofa centers around this. To know your history is to know yourself, the world around you, and how to make both better. By looking back and by looking at themselves, Sankofa provided these students with the gift of perspective, and more importantly, 
with an understanding and empathy for others that make them wise beyond their years. Every student's path is unique, yet each of you here today is bonded by a shared history. Someday, you will look back on this time in your life and see the lessons it has taught you. It is my hope that most of you have been able to take advantage of the opportunities that have been made available during your time at BC, despite the pandemic. I have been impressed by some of the amazing accomplishments of this class, not only your academics, but also in areas outside of the classroom. You have delighted us, amazed us, and have made us stand up and cheer. Among you, we have nine National Merit Scholarship winners, the most in BC history. Only, yeah, give them an applause. Only 7,500 of these prestigious awards are given each year. So this is a remarkable accomplishment in a single class. There are actors, musicians, and techies from the fabulous Les Mis, a show that marked a joyous and long overdue opening of our new high school auditorium. You count among your classmates an investment whiz who has outperformed the markets in almost every New York student taking part in the stock market game, not once, but three times. 35 of you have earned the seal of biliteracy, achieving fluency in more than one language. Earning that distinction for some meant learning English while navigating a new school and new surroundings. Several seniors were part of the High Achieving Science Bowl and Science Olympiad teams. If your Chromebook wasn't working, you could count on one of your classmates being at the help desk to fix your issues. There are best buddies and members of our unified basketball and bowling teams who had great success and a lot of fun along the way. Visual artists wowed us with their work all four years. And many of you who made the trip to the CTE campus every day in order to learn a trade and jumpstart a successful career. Students who stood upright for social justice and human rights not only made us think, but helped us to act. And on Friday mornings, those who are members of the Student Senate could be found packing food into nearly 100 backpacks for students of all ages across the district so no one would go without on the weekend. It would take all night to list all the amazing things that you have been a part of during your high school careers and the many individual achievements. So I will conclude with this. Several years ago, a Facebook executive named Cheryl Sandberg wrote a book where she encouraged people looking for success to, quote, lean in. It was written for working moms with the idea that success could be found with a little more grit, a little more perseverance, and quite frankly, a little more work. Her recipe for success may be a winner for some, but I like to think that the secret to a truly successful life is to lean in to one another. In the same way Mr. Domel described seeing your, you support your peers at awards night is the way I want you to support your friends and classmates on this night and in the years to come. Lean in, stand up, cheer as loud as you can, celebrate them, celebrate your time together. Take all that you have learned from one another and in your years here in Bethlehem and carry that forward to make the world a better place. Congratulations, have a great summer, my very best on your next journey. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Monroe. I would now like to introduce uh, Board of Education President, Ms. Holly Dellenbaugh. On behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations to you and to your families and friends. It is a true privilege and a joy to be here with you this evening to salute your accomplishments 
What a four years you have all had. As you leave here, I hope you stay open to possibility and I hope you retain your capacity for imagination and optimism. And I encourage you to continue striving to improve your community no matter where life takes you. It may not always seem like it, but one person can make a difference. Maybe you can create beautiful works of music or art that inspire people, or you can collaborate with others to meet an overlooked need in your neighborhood, or you could become a teacher, a coach, or a mentor and inspire our next generation of students. That's not to say that the paths you choose will always be straightforward and uncomplicated. I'm pretty sure after the past few years that you're all keenly aware that life doesn't work that way. The question is, is there a way to make things just a little bit easier? So recently, I had occasion to go on a couple of long road trips, and in an effort to provide some entertainment for multiple hours on the throughway, I threw on an audiobook of Yes, Please, Amy Poehler's memoir. And at the very end of the book, she writes, the only way we will survive is by being kind. The only way we can get by in this world is through the help we receive from others. No one can do it alone, no matter how great the machines are. Her words stuck with me, and I think it's because that's one of the ways that we can make things a little bit easier. First, be kind. You know, one of the best things about kindness is that it costs nothing. And it doesn't have to be a grand gesture. Sometimes it's as simple as holding a door for someone whose hands are full, saying please and thank you, maybe taking the time to mail a birthday card or write an actual letter to someone, not an email, or even just complimenting a stranger on their absolutely fabulous parallel parking job. Be the reason that someone smiles. Be kind. Second, ask for help. I know asking for help can be hard, but we all depend on others as much as we like to think of ourselves as self-sufficient. Asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It shows confidence and the ability to advocate for yourself. Out of practice, start small. Maybe call the hotline that gives you free pep talks from some kindergartners in California. They offer great words of encouragement, such as try it again, and potentially helpful life advice, such as if you're feeling unbalanced, think of groundhogs. So ask for help. Now, to those two things, I would add one more. Find some humor. We know that laughter reveals stress, tension, and anxiety, and makes it easier all around to cope with difficult situations. Hey, there's a reason I wanted to listen to a comedian during a long day in the car. So spend time with friends that make you laugh. Maybe binge watch Floor is Lava on Netflix. Share funny stories or jokes with those around you. Maybe even a good old dad joke. We're partial to those in our house. I even heard one earlier today. What did the culinary student think of their final exam? It was a piece of cake. So there's my advice to you. Be kind, ask for help, and laugh. With those three things, I have no doubt that the members of this class, which has shown such determination and perseverance, will smoothly navigate whatever paths they pursue. Congratulations again. We can't wait to see what comes next. I am proud to present the class of 2022 with their diplomas at this time. Justin D. Abuel. Jack 
H. Adams. West Allen. Elizabeth Claire Amodio. Tess Anderson. Sophia Anastas. Robin Lindsay Arneson. Madison Asmus. Isobel Aviles Delis. Madeline Ayers. Chantel Nova. Margaret Bailey. Rachel May Barnes. Elliot Barrett. Allie Barron. Liam D. Bartholomew. Kirsten Sarah Baum. Lillian Biter. Alyssa Bella. Jenna Lorraine Bourbon. Milan Batia Garin. William Robert Bevenu. Ayana Bing. Devin Noah Blackwood. Charles Blanchard. Sam Blendell. Gabe Blodgett. Rachel L. Bonnie. Lydia Boucher. Kyle Boyd. Anna Bradford Rickard. Madeline Brand. Hayden G. Brock. Eileen Bronk. Hayden Willing Brown. Margaret Catherine Bringleson. Woo! 
Olivia L. Buckley. Nala Bagrara. Ashley Bullard. Ryan Marie Burns. Thomas Berzezzi. Alex Kafiro. Ryan James Campbell. Peyton Elizabeth Cardinal. Micah Carlton. Fiona Evangeline Castle. Andrew Surf. Madeline Serza. Emma Lynn Cheney. Christina Chavez. Benson Chen. Nicole Cintron Ortiz. Isabel Clark. Jane Sierra Clark. Nathy Clark. Anna M. Cleary. Alexa. Cola Bufo. Connor, oh, Connor Finn Colano. <laughs> Isabella Cometti. Matthew David Connolly. Stella Grace Convertino. Cameron Conway. Allison Marie Coolidge. Olivia Corazzini. Joey Kortz. Eliza Catherine Yezzy Cotton. <laughs> Melanie Robin Quiar. Jackson Cowan. Andre. 
David Cridlick. Hannah Cully. Campbell Elizabeth Cummings. Connor Darcy. Robert John Davis. Emily Deganza. Rowan Madison Delbeni. Megan Dellenbaugh. Ryan Matthew Denon. Congratulations. Christopher F. DeSorbo. Hunter E. Detweiler. Peter Deva Prasad. Evan Diligent. Mark DeLulo. Spencer Dodge. Yes. Kira Hillary Doherty. Paige Ann Doherty. Connor Patrick Donovan. Luke E. Doyle. Rachel Marie Drew. Olivia Drury. <laughs> Nene Du. <laughs> Caitlin Dunnikin. <laughs> Frank Peter Dupont. Maya Danielle Gordis Earlywine. Edja Erjan. David Espinal. Jasmine Fischetti. Isabella Francis Fayola. Aubrey Fairfax.
Allison Farrell. Madeline Joan Ferreira. Kate Field. Eliana Figueroa Seely. Jacob Alexander Finero. Sinead Eileen Fitzpatrick. Patrick Daniel Fitzsimmons. Gavin Fallis. Jonathan Paul Forand. Nicholas Edward Freihofer. Samuel Fristina. Caleb Daniel Frezza. Olivia E. Fugit. Fugit. Isabella Marini Furrier. Fugit. Nicholas Ryan Furlong. Ryland Patrick Gaffney. Adrian Emma Gall. Jackson Gallo Rennick. Sarah Giacconi. <laughs> Sophia Rose Giarusso. Gianna Gilia. Seaver Anthony Glassman. Amanda Gonzalez Gomez. Candon Gorman. Mackenzie Gorman. Matthew Anthony Grabe. Kirsten Graham. David Moore. Claudia Ann Grimaldi. Rowan Grumberg. Cooper Guzzi. Devin K. Guzzi. Emma Hartel. 
Benjamin Ham. Zachary Harbinger. Tyler Harrigan. Sophia Hartmark. Eamon McGrain Hayes. Robert Hazaz. <laughs> Charlie He. Ginger A. Bear. Connor Matthew Heineman. Keith James Heineman. Lumi Priester. Trey Hill. Paul Holstein. Connor Michael Holt. Phoebe Hosford. Ruth Eileen Hotailing. Nia Grace Hughes. Lillian Grace Humphrey. Claire Catherine Itama. Justice Jacobs, Maria Jacobs, Natalie Ann Jada, Rain Jameson, Daniel C. Jansen. Carson Jensen. Eric Gesto. Sasha Joe. Jack Edward Johansson. Francis J. Johnson. Max Fisher Kabak. Vijaya Suri. Kakarala. Archisha Sai Kancha. Kenan Kanik.
Abraham Kaufman. Landon Dean Kozak. John Keith. Ryan Keg. Where's Omar? Omar Kellis. Nisa Kandir. Christopher Ryan Kinley. Lauren Elise Kin. Andrew W. Kirby. Ierly Knox. Corey James Knuth. Liam J. Koch. Charles Kuda. Nathaniel Koplik. Sydney Carson Kowalski. Elizabeth Christine Craig. Alexa Kruger. Ava Sophia Krupa. Chella Sophia Labarge. Ava Marie Leclerc. Isabel Lee Landers. Aviva Landsman. Henry Arthur Lane. Sophia Langloy. Ka E. Megan Lee.
Mati Lavasami. Sasha Levin. Amy Olivia Lewis. Isabel Barcia Lipold. Jake Barcia Lipold. Emma Liu. Maggie Livingston. Connor Longton. Emma Losey. Marin May Luridas. Karina Elizabeth Lozano. Libby Ann Marr. Ava Mane. Carson Manning. Logan Manziano. Julia Cafferty Martell. Kevin Martone. Paige Nicole Mazula. Jacob McAllister. Lauren McCabe. Emily Page McCann. Colton McDermott. Catherine Elizabeth McKenna. McManus. Michael Patrick McManus the third. Rail McRee. Grady McSherry. <laughs> Katrina Elizabeth Medert. <laughs> Alamdar Magani. Peter Mertick. Daniel Middendorf. Nika Majet.
Colin Matthew Mikulski. Lily Millard. Christian Minix. Peter Moffrey. John Stephen Molinsek. Michael Patrick Maloney. Taylor Kate Mamro. Dewey Mung. Alex Montalvo. Connor Mooney. Emma Rose Moore. Nicholas J. Rubel. Shelby Morin. Anthony L. Morrison. Sarah Muller. Elizabeth Mullen. Jeremy Munn, Jr., Connor Murphy, Richard Myers, Elizabeth Grace Nagy, Catherine M. Nagy. Kira Narang. <laughs> Abigail Nautel. <laughs> Sarah Elizabeth Nijame. Jeevan Nigam. <laughs> Quinton Nolan. Grady Noonan. Isla Noor. Ariana Nicole Norfleet. <laughs> Tyler Novak. Cassidy O'Brien. Dean O'Brien. Caitlin Mackenzie O'Mara.
Margaret O'Neill. Sage Cassidy Obernesser. Caitlin C. Oakers. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Caitlin C. Oakers. Serena Marie Okaniski. Mary Owens. Finn Pactor. Gianna Pagau. Brendan Christopher Pajak. Darius Palange. Max Pallet. Anushka B. Patel. Lola Paul. Jessica Pauley. Abigail Paulson. Oriana Petros. Ian Penfield. Claire Peretta. Roman Perado. Lindsay Nicole Pierce. James Riley Pilletier. Maria Morgan Pokoroba. Isaac Pocat. Maya Camille Probeck. Avery Jane Proper. Maggie Elizabeth Proper. Andrew Raymond Provera. AC Lauren Puccio. Alira M. Rain. Connor T. Raleigh. Alex Ramos. Ashrith K. Rao.
Ryan Jackson Reynolds. George K. Radigan. Isabella Rose Richards. Vince Rigney. Madison Lee Robbins. Bodie P. Rockline. Caitlin Elizabeth Roddy. Star Rodriguez. Ava Rowe. Griffin Roder. Ethan Nathaniel Rosenblum. Madeline Claire Rounds. Mason Rao. Muchan Ruggiero. James William Russell III. Molly Russum. Jake Rude. Kiara Bridget Ryan. Nora Samson. Stella Sunless. Jake Santaski. Daniel Santiago. Dylan Saunders. Madison Shelding. Logan Schmidt. Ethan Schoenblum. Christine Lynn Schrempf. Allison Kelly Sabodi. Natalie Sevilla Lane. Rahul Sharma.
Andy Gray Scheingold. <laughs> Lucas Carter Shira. <laughs> Catherine Blake Shutt. Molly Jessica Silver. Ishan Singh. Sarah Singh. Caleb Singh. Madison Sinek. Gracie Scultetti. Claudia Scusa. Claire A. Smith. <laughs> Albert Martin Snyder. <laughs> Rosamund Sophia Soka. Joanne Show Me Day. Lauren Sorrentino. Emily Spada. Megan Elizabeth Sparks. <laughs> Timothy Spoor. <laughs> Grace Isabella Stelmashik. <laughs> Ava Elizabeth Sticken. Gordon Sue. <laughs> Ella Celine Sermelli. <laughs> Jack Sutliff. Delina Marie Swan. Sarah B. Syed. Katie Hannah Taff. Ryan Vincent Taff. Alexander Thomas. <laughs> Justice Thomas. <laughs> Etta Thornton. Brandon James Tice. Jared G. Tice.
Jack Cavino. Emiliano Torlasco. Emily Rose Toa. Riley Travis. Ella J. Trainer. Johnson Trowbridge. Grace Elizabeth Monica Truchard. Cameron Danielle Tatunjan. Caitlin Grace Valerian. Katarina Ann Van Steele. Emma Madeline Charlotte Bleeker Van Leuven. Juliet Ann Arlene Bleeker Van Leuven. Sarah Catherine Van Squike. Matthew Vishwatana. Victoria Voranina. Lindsay E. Waters. <laughs> Ali Weatherly. <laughs> Jessica Angelina Weinert. Julia Quinn Weiner. <laughs> Megan Whitbeck. <laughs> L. Sophia Wilbur. Ezra Winston. Jackson Woods. <laughs> Haley M. Wright. Michael Sia. Tao Sia. Thank you. Ella Ugel. <laughs> Helen Zhang. Jeremy Zhang. <laughs> Winnie Zhang. Daniel Zhou.
Toronto Mayor Zilberberg. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022. They deserve it for those smiles. Those were the best smiles I've had in all the years I've done this. Thanks, guys. Made my night. Students, would you please stand? At this time, students, I ask you to please move your tassel from right to left to signify the completion of your time here at Bethlehem Central High School. You may be seated. It's my honor now to present to you for our closing, Danielle Joe. I would congratulate you all for making it to the end of a long commencement ceremony. But alas, you all will have to sit through a few more minutes and listen to me speak. I apologize. Fortunately, though, we have made it to the end of four difficult years. A lot can happen in four years, and that is certainly true for the span of time that we spent as high schoolers. Reflecting back, many of you are probably very disappointed about the disruptions to our sophomore and junior years, as was I. However, what I mourn the most is freshman year lunch. I think that many of us can agree that those chicken patties and breakfast sandwiches were something else. But despite the highs and lows of school lunch, in all seriousness, I stand before you today to recognize a specific group of individuals who made my high school experience and many of your high school experiences all the more memorable. I didn't particularly enjoy going to school. This may come as a surprise to many of you who see me as a nerd. But as much as I enjoyed Spanish class at times, there were many things that I would have rather done than learn the subjunctive the first thing in the morning. You see, I have trouble with English sometimes that early in the day. Thankfully, there were always people around me that made class more entertaining. My school friends. School friends were the people you met on the first day of school in your classes and bonded greatly with over the course of a year or maybe even a few years. School friends. They were the people you spent the beginning of freshman year getting lost in the halls with. 
My biggest fear going into ninth grade was not knowing my way around the school. And although I did find myself adrift in the halls a few times, it wasn't that bad when my school friends were lost with me as we walked from one class to the next. School friends. They were the people that you hung out with in study halls or free periods. They're the ones you sat in commons with, played Tetris, 2048, Servivio, and Fireboy and Watergirl with on your Chromebooks, solved crosswords, did puzzles, and made slime with in the new LMC. School friends. They were the ones you stood next to during pep rallies, exuding school spirit while looking like black and orange zebras. They're the ones who made fun of you for not spotting Waldo as fast as they did. And they're the ones who you screamed at the top of your lungs with while the hooligans played in the background. School friends. They were the people you chatted with during class when you were supposed to be learning about the Krebs cycle in biology, memorizing the unit circle in math, or reading of mice and men in English. And for those who maybe chatted a bit too much through that book, and ignored all the signs at our freshman year pep rally, George kills Lenny. Even though you and your school friends may have started off as strangers to one another, through all of your shared experiences, you formed meaningful relationships with each other. Look around right now and think about who your school friends were throughout the last four years. Some of you may have just forgotten how important these, rela re these relationships really were. So take a moment to truly appreciate your school friends as they all impacted your lives in tremendous ways. And if you haven't spent time with your school friends outside of school, perhaps this summer is the time to do so. I remember in elementary school, we used to write H-A-G-S on everyone's yearbooks. Now it would be more appropriate to write H-A-G-L, have a good life. Indeed, our time here together is coming to an end shortly, and this may be the very last time you see many of your classmates. You and your school friends might soon become strangers with memories. You are all moving on to a new chapter in your lives, filled with new experiences, new pursuits, and new people. But no matter what you do, don't forget about your school friends, for they are the ones who helped define the last four years of your life. Thank you. If we could all please uh, stand for our alma mater and remain standing after that for the recessional. Mr. Dash, you might have to sing it himself. <laughs> I know this was supposed to be queued up. Um, there we go.
Go Eagles. Before we wrap up, I just want to thank everyone in the audience for all your support, for coming tonight, for supporting our students uh, throughout the course of their uh, Bethlehem career. Uh, we couldn't have done this without you, so thank you so much. <laughs> Class of 2022, congratulations. We will miss you. Thank you, everybody, again for coming. Thank you.